hi uh, now uh, we are going to see the scale up tool path uh, before uh, seeing the scale up tool path uh, we should know uh, what is meant by scale up tool path and how it is going to affect the surface finish uh, uh, in mastercam we used to call uh, scalopite uh, some other software they used to call as a cursepite both are same only uh, suppose example this is the uh, cutter and uh, this is the step over distance is uh, given in your uh, uh, program example 0.5 so the cutter is shipped up 0.5 from the original position uh, so the both the center point of the cutter that how much this height is uh, projecting uh, that height is called the scala point so this is uh, uh, this uh, height uh, uh, determines the uh, surface finish uh, how much you reduce the scala point less uh, that much you will get the very good surface finish how much the cost it is bigger in the means uh, uh, your surface finish is uh, uh, rough uh, it is uh, totally based on the your machining time suppose if you if you if you give a, a step or a less uh, if you give a step or less and uh, the uh, scale of height is uh, very less and you will get very good surface finish when uh, if you give step over is more uh, curve height is more and uh, surface is uh, rough so the scale of height is directly related to the surface finish and the machining time it is the duty of the programmer uh, uh, he has to decide uh, he what he want uh, maybe uh, he should not uh, make the uh, programming time so bigger or uh, he should uh, um, he should not make the uh, rough uh, uh, job so the programmer is the uh, main judge he will trade uh, between the uh, good surface finish and better machining time so based on his uh, requirement and his condition uh, the program is the programmer is the uh, great judge of uh, deciding the uh, required uh, scale of height so we should so we should uh, understand uh, where this uh, component is uh, uh, going to use suppose uh, the component is going for uh, uh, mirror finishing means uh, lapping operation uh, then in that case uh, you should have a very good uh, uh, surface finish it means that you should have maintain a very less uh, scale of height so generally uh, in the uh, in the lapping you need to make emery and uh, putting diamond paste and uh, they are rubbing it and to make the mirror finish so in case uh, if you are not sending to the uh, uh, mirror finish application then uh, we can give uh, a very good uh, uh, means uh, better uh, step over and uh, get the required surface finish so now we can see in the in the in the uh, uh, angular surface or profile surface how the scale of height is uh, look like okay so this is the uh, the scale of height is uh, deciding the uh, surface finish but in actual case it will not look like this much uh, bigger scale of uh, height but for uh, understanding it is zoomed and given to you uh, in this diagram it is given in the both the direction uh, scale of height how it is look like when it is horizontal and when it is in uh, inclined uh, without this uh, knowledge if you go for a scale up tool path uh, it will be off done so that's the reason we have seen the 
what is calopite so now we'll go to the master cam and uh, we'll do the as uh, calopite this scallop tool part is the full finishing tool part so it is above the blend tool part so there are three more tool path is left out so this uh, three tool path uh, blend uh, uh, pencil and left or all are uh, used for uh, uh, repairing work and the corner finishing work so this blend tool path also used for uh, some repairing kind of work so now we will see uh, about the scallop tool path. Uh, so we have uh, taken one sample model for uh, uh, looking for this. So we are going to do the uh, scallop tool path on this uh, model. So I will select uh, all surfaces and the boundary I am taking this smaller boundary. You can take a uh, uh, full model also, but uh, it takes time. That's the reason I took a very small boundary. So I have made a small boundary so that it will... Now we have tri surfaces and containment boundary. If you want check surface, you can provide. No problem. I selected the bottom one as a check surface. Uh, here uh, you need to take ball and mill. I will go for uh, tool library. Uh, actually, I should have checked my corner radius earlier, but I have not done it. So I will do it again. I uh, will go analyze dynamic option. I took. I just try to understand what is the corner radius. Around, around uh, 6, uh, 6.35. You can use a uh, 6 mm dia cutter for uh, the entire machining. So, for understanding the minimum cutter diameter, I come out of the tool path and I checked it. Now, again, we will go for tool path. I will select the uh, dry surfaces first. Okay. Now I will go for a check surface. I selected the bottom one and containment boundary. I will select that uh, that inner boundary, red color one. So only on that area I just wanted to machine. Okay. So now I will go for tool and I will select a six uh, ball and mill and parameter whatever you need it you provide no problem. Uh, plunge rate you modify to 500 feet per tooth you will make it and then we will go for next page and stock tool if you want to keep you, you can keep stock otherwise no here you will get the step or percentage so 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 I will keep a 0.25 step power so we will do one thing, we will we'll give a bigger step over, then we will we'll reduce it and see in the next, uh, so we will give one mm as a step over. So here this step over is uh, always uniform, all flat and uh, inclined surface or curved surface. So it will give very good uh, uniform uh, surface finish. So in gap sending if you want uh, you just switch on the optimize cut order and follow uh, smooth is uh, switched on. I am not giving any angle. So it is uh, asking ok. So stop to leave on the uh, check surface is not given that's what the error is given. So now it is calculating.
so in next uh, uh, presentation we will change the uh, stock value so we'll check it how it is look like so in step over you can see in the horizontal and the profile and vertical wall all are uniform throughout this uh, machining so that is the advantage of this uh, tool path so how beautifully it has uh, generated the tool path and uh, this is the uh, scale up tool path surface finish method uh, if you want to change modify the stock to leave on the uh, check surface i changed so how much you reducing your uh, your step over that much you are going to get the very good uh, you are going to good surface finish cut order uh, you can mm, you can approach the surface from outside to inside or inside to outside it is depends upon your condition uh, cut order you can assign minimum uh, uh, distances that is what i did it now i am regenerating let us see the uh, scale up tool path so this tool path is uh, uh, suitable for a good surface finish but uh, one disadvantage uh, the tool uh, is moving in the horizontal also in the uh, we are driving the ball and mill in the flat surface also so that is not um, uh, in the and that place in flat uh, surface area, if you use a uh, flat end mill or bull end mill it will you get very good surface finish when compared to the ball end mill so but uh, this tool path should be used where there is a mostly profile and uh, vertical uh, uh, surfaces that places this tool path uh, result will be very nice so i restricted uh, this uh, tool path in the only in the uh, small area and if you want you can remove this boundary and uh, you can generate tool path uh, the entire model also uh, uh, but uh, its a model is uh, bigger definitely the uh, generation time will be uh, more so it is started uh, calculating now let us see Uh, this tool path wherever you want you can use it where the finish is uh, uh, important uh, the time is not much uh, worry for you in that situation to get a very good surface finish this is the best tool path you can see here you can see wherever you see nicely maintain the uh, that uh, step over uniform all over the a uh, model so the sharp corner smoothing you can add it when there is a very sharp corner so automatically it will add some rounding so um, it will reduce the jerk on the machine because of this uh, radial uh, radius uh, movement so this is the smoothing will help so the people generally inside to outside uh, they never uh, do the machining outside to inside is a uh, common so when there is a need uh, then only you have to you have to switch on the inside to outside so this is a cutting method whether you want uh, direction in uh, clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction uh, this is a complete uh, surface finishing tool path so so for whatever the tool path we have seen uh, is all or as a combination is needed some other tool path is needed to be uh, used along with that example if you use parallel you need to use parallel steep uh, even uh, uh, so if you see the individual tool path is a radial maybe a radial tool path a scale tool path a scale, sorry scale up tool path a radial tool path and even the flow line tool path are the individual tool paths uh, 
this toolpath is a very good toolpath for the surface finish. Uh, if you see flow line toolpath is full toolpath, scallop toolpath. So all other toolpath definitely you need some other toolpath to support it. So you project toolpath definitely you cannot use directly because you need a, you need a some other way to fluffing and uh, finishing. So the complete toolpath if you see radial and flow line and the scallop toolpath. Uh, okay. So two things uh, you need to remember in this. What is scalopite and what is the effect of scalopite in your surface finish and, and time. So the uh, scalopite uh, uh, is uh, uh, in old master chem the scalopite is given separately but now they have removed it. They give in the name of uh, step power. Okay, thank you.